Bayan Woo Seok is a South Korean model and presenter who debuted in the world of acting in 2016. Although he only started his career through small roles, his capable acting skills were able to bring him to various big projects to successfully become the lead in several dramas and feature films. Bayan Woo Seok Biodata. Full name, Bayan Woo Seok. Nickname, Bayan Woo Seok. Place of birth, Dayongi Do. October 31, 1991. Zodiac, Scorpio, Bayan Wu Seok's wealth. His illustrious career in acting, coupled with his modeling engagements for top brands such as Calvin Klein, contributes greatly to Bayan Wu Seok's estimated net worth. Although there are no exact records of his wealth, it is estimated that Bayan Wu Seok's wealth is now in the range of 2 million US dollars to 5 million US dollars. In addition recently, Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team was involved in controversy due to the viral video of Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team, which was considered to be overprotective. The video also went viral in cyberspace because one of the bodyguards highlighted a flashlight to other passengers, drawing a lot of criticism from Nets. Then, Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team company gave a statement apologizing for the controversy. The Bayan Wu Seok Bodyguard Team Company gave a statement of apology and admitted its mistake. The CEO of the Bodyguard Team Company said, We would like to apologize profusely for making people uncomfortable. We plan to provide internal training to all security bodyguards to prevent similar controversies from happening again, said the CEO of Bayan Wu Seok's Bodyguard Team Company. In addition, the CEO of Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team company said, We also apologize for causing inconvenience to ordinary passengers and creating an incident like this. Furthermore, the CEO was asked why Bayan Wu Seok had to be overprotected like that. The CEO of Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team company replied, It is true that there was never a situation where excessive security had to be provided and we are also not continuing this way anymore. He also explained that he has only been running the bodyguard team company for one to two years, so he still does not understand what kind of things the bodyguard team should think about in maintaining safety and comfort around. The CEO of the bodyguard team company also promised to conduct internal training for his bodyguard team and assured that the incident would not happen again. In addition, the CEO was also asked if any policies were made to strengthen security to only protect Bayan Wu Seok. The CEO of Bayan Wu Seok's bodyguard team company replied, Rather than strengthening protection, Bayan Wu Seok's fans have been increasing lately and there is concern that there will be safety accidents due to this. So we are paying a lot of attention not only to the actor, but the surrounding community, including fans. Bayan Wu Seok has been gaining attention after successfully portraying the character Sun Jat in the drama Lovely Runner, now ending his first Asian fan meeting summer letter. It is known that his co-stars and friends have expressed excitement over his sudden rise to fame in various interviews. Now the actor is greeted by crowds of fans waiting for him at the airport and attending his public events in large numbers. On Sunday, July 14, one such event took place today on July 13, 2024. Bayan Wu Seok held a press conference ahead of his highly anticipated Asian fan meeting summer letter. The event was held in Hong Kong as part of his ongoing fan meeting series. On July 12, fans excitedly shared photos of the location where Bayan Wu Seok's press conference was scheduled to take place. On that occasion, Bayan Wu Seok delighted the fans by interacting with them, including performing the character Sun Jae's iconic flying kiss.
He also shared his dream of exploring woodworking and his desire to make his own furniture, starting with a coffee table as a special gift to himself. Reflecting on his acting choices, Bayan Wu Siok discussed prioritizing roles in genres that he can personally relate to. Fans were touched by Bayan Wu Siok's sweet and humble nature. As he left, Bayan Wu Siok made sure to greet fans personally, shaking hands and saying goodbye. On the other hand, recently, Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard team has been in the spotlight of netizens and nets after conducting security escorts that are considered too excessive. Previously, last Friday, 7 12 Bayan Wu Siok left for Hong Kong via Incheon Airport. He left for Hong Kong to hold a fan meeting there, which is being held today, 7 14 A few days ago, 12 7 While at Incheon Airport for departure to Hong Kong, Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard team attracted attention. This happened because after the viral video of Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard team, which was considered too excessive to keep Bayan Wu Siok safe. There was a netizen who was waiting in the lounge with his parents who looked happy to accidentally meet Bayan Wu Siok. The netizen also shared the video via X and praised Bayan Wu Siok's height. However, there is something interesting about the video, which is that Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard shines a flashlight with a laser right at passengers at Incheon Airport who are waiting at the lounge. Meanwhile, Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard made a flashlight to prevent someone from recording a video. Because flashlight is considered too dangerous if exposed to the eyes. Most of this method is used outdoors. Netizens were shocked to see Bayan Wu Siok's bodyguard doing this indoors, especially in the lounge. The video post also went viral and drew a lot of criticism, especially from nets. Nets's criticism was as follows. Seriously, stop acting up. I hope they get rid of the laser beams shining in people's eyes. Why are her bodyguards acting like that? If it's an airport lounge, isn't everyone there a regular person? Why are they doing that to ordinary people? His behavior is like a snowflake exaggeration. Everyone there is an ordinary person. What do you mean he will be recognized? Why is he suddenly shining a flashlight at them? Are they allowed to do that to ordinary people just because they're looking after celebrities? Looking at the video, there's a child there too. That would be really bad for their eyes. Why are they doing that in the lounge? Meanwhile, this is not the first time the security team or bodyguards have been criticized for being too excessive. Previously, NCT's bodyguards had also been involved in controversy because they were considered excessive to the point of being charged with alleged violence. 